Hello folks and welcome. So Debian 12, KDE Plasma 527.5. I know a lot of you folks out there probably say, well, you know, that's not the latest version. Well, it's the latest stable version. You know, a lot of people may like 6.1, for instance, living on the edge. There are some crashes that also occur when you are using systems like that. So Debian kind of goes the other way. They kind of like to use a stable system uh, when things are working. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about what I have highlighted. RAM. I was asked a question the other day is how many Linux terminal commands can you punch in for getting RAM information and swap space? Quite a few actually. This is not everybody's cup of tea. But more importantly, I'm going to talk about um, memory today. How to view that stuff and have a little, hopefully a little fun at the same time. So welcome folks. I am filming in 1080. Adjust your YouTube player accordingly, if necessary. Subscription key is in the corner if you've never heard of my channel. 400 videos and growing. So um, since this is a plasma desktop, we can type in what we want to go find what we want. So how about console, KO? So um, before I get going, let me make this a little bit larger for you. And that would be control shift and plus uh, many times. And then I'll actually redo the box itself just to, well, make it larger. You know, this is not everybody's cup of tea. A lot of people don't like terminal, uh, but terminal can be your friend for a lot of things. I try not to overwhelm most of my uh, users with um, heavy technical jargon. So I, I basically step back a little bit a lot of times and just trying to make things simple. That is my whole intent to make you comfortable with the operating system you have when it comes to Linux. What I mean by that is the desktop. We have many. We have Plasma, XFCE, Mate, Cinnamon, Arch base systems, Debian based systems, Ubuntu based systems. I have lots of videos, over 400. Anyways, I'm going to talk about this command today. Some free advice for you. This just displays how much memory. Oh, I'm sorry. Control shift plus 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 to make it bigger bigger for you Filming in 1080 Hopefully you are watching this on a large screen. I don't really recommend mobile screens Usually they're about six inches or below and it's hard to read this stuff This is Linux Most people don't run Linux on their mobile devices in general Kind of hard to read this stuff, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So what I'm going to do is repeat that command and put a dash H there. That's a little bit better, I hope. What's GI? Well, anyways, you can look up all this MI, GI stuff. Swap space and memory. Did you know there's many derivatives of free? Let's talk about man pages for a second. Just for a second. So uh, the definition of free in Linux when it comes down to terminal or console displays the amount of free memory usage in your system, which includes in some cases swap space. We can go scrolling through all of these little things that we can look at. Maybe we know what a byte is, but do we know what a kibby byte is? Or a mebby, or a gibby, or a tebby. Oh, it sounds very cute. Anyways, I'm going to uh, basically hit Q to quit. So I'm going to show you a couple of derivatives of the word free in terminal or console. Our user for today is Mark. It's just a made up name. So I'm going to type in free, but not man free, the word free, dash B. 
A lot of you folks may not know what that is. It's kind of hard to read that, isn't it? When you're trying to read those raw bites. There's another one called a K. And another one on top of that called M. You can probably guess what that one is. Or maybe not. How about G? We like to use those gigabyte words. So 31 gigabytes, two used, 23 free. No swap space is being used. This on the other hand told me that, well, there was a little less than a gigabyte used. Well, I'm, I'm producing the result in G's. So that would be a zero compared to that number. Uh, hopefully you get what I'm going with this. Now, if you produce the small age, that's human readable and in a format that some of you folks may not recognize, GI, MI. What I'm getting at it, folks, most people don't care. However, some do. How is your RAM, random access memory, and swap space used as far as displaying what is currently running and what is currently available to you. Most people just go here, drag the little guy downstairs, and uh, while well, we have how much memory do we have total, we can also open up other tools that shows us what's running. It normally displays a whole bunch of stuff that says this service or that service is running on this is consuming that and this is this is just general information about RAM all of this stuff is just silly right well anyways it's called free so some free information for you so if I type up clear and type in MAN free you'll get the understanding and definition of free a long time ago a lot of folks put this stuff together for you you know, things have been evolving since the Unix days. That was a long time ago, and I still remember those days. So as uh, the systems grew and Linus Torvalds put together Linux, uh, if you don't know who that person is, I do have a video on the history of Linux if you want to check it out. You'd be amazed to know what Linux is used for nowadays. And a lot of you Windows users always assume that Windows is king. You'd be surprised that 95% of the internet runs on Linux. Yeah, anyways. Memory. How much memory? And maybe you're interested in swap space. I'm gonna do a closed window. I have lots of weird videos on my YouTube site. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Thank you for watching.